Hi, my name is John. I'm going to be making my second beer. I'm using the uh, Mr. Beer kit here. Cheap and effective. And I'm going to be brewing a Grand Bohemian Czech Pilsner. Now, I like the way that Pilsner or Kell tastes. I've heard online that the uh, this is a little bit light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some Centennial hops to this. and some dry malt extract. So I've got a kettle of water here, about four cups, five cups of water boiling. Once that's done boiling, I'm gonna add the golden light. I'm gonna stir that up. Once that's boiling, I'm gonna add the hops, about a half ounce right off the bat, a half ounce at about 20 minutes in, and as I turn it off, about a full ounce to really make it a hoppy, a hoppy uh, beer. So I got my sanitization here, and I love adding Ovaltine. So Ovaltine is a great... No, I'm just kidding. Don't add Ovaltine. That's ridiculous. I got my yeast that came with the Mr. Beer kit. I guess you've got to start somewhere, right? So this thing's just about ready to boil, and we're going to get going. Stop. You better stop. I hope this thing stop. As you can see, the water is boiling, so I'm going to add my dry malt extract. Put in a little bit. I'm going to stir it up. Sorry for being shaky. I don't have a camera person with me. Stir it up a little bit. All right. Add a little more. Got to add the whole thing here eventually. Oh boy, look at that. It's getting crazy. Let's add the whole thing. Uh, I can't do this with a camera. You'll have to trust me. Be right back. Okay, the uh, dry malt extract has been added. And you can see it's already starting to rise. I'm going to have to shut off the uh, power a little bit. So the uh, DME is all added. Now I've just got to uh, add some hops. I'm going to turn on the heat a little bit because this is going to get overflown and we don't want that in Mommy's kitchen. Alright, now time for some hops. So this particular recipe that I heard of calls for a quarter ounce of hops right off the bat. So we've got a, hops right here, and this is two ounces worth. So I'm thinking an eighth of that, add it right into there. I don't have a measuring cup. I'm a guy. I just kind of add stuff and figure it out. And I'm kind of tired of my Ovaltine. This is not a product placement. Let's get that out of here. So yes, let's add some fresh hops to our work, or whatever this is called. I don't even know what it's called at this point. Is that about a quarter? Let's add to that in there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Let's add it in there. Stir it up. I keep on forgetting that I'm at a video in here. I'm a photographer, but obviously not very good with a camera, a video camera. Besides, I'm kind of doing this just for me, not for you. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the hops in the pot. I added that right at the time if it's starting to boil. I'm going to let that go for about, uh, oh, about 10 more minutes, maybe 20 minutes. Then I'm going to add another about half ounce of hops. Um, as I turn it off, I'm going to add a little bit more. And then I'm going to add the Mr. Beer Czech Pilsner, which is currently on the stove kind of uh, getting nice and liquidy. Okay, so my brew has been going for about 15-20 uh, minutes here since I added the hops and it started to boil. Now I'm going to add another about half ounce or so of hops uh, and then turn off the heat in about five minutes. So again, this is about two ounces. I've used about eh, half to three quarters of an ounce. I'm going to take this thing up to about, uh, about half, so we're going to add about this much hops to it. So we'll have about one full ounce of hops. And again, this is a standard Mr. Beer size, so it makes about two and a half gallons overall. All right, it's about half. We're gonna stir that up and see how it goes. This is after that latest hop addition. It's getting really thick. 
Gotta keep stirring, gotta keep stirring. Ah, the smell of hops. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, we're gonna rock and roll here. I'm gonna kick the, uh, this has been going for about 20, about 23 minutes. I've had two hop additions, one at uh, an initial boil and another one about five minutes ago at about, about 18 minutes. I'm gonna turn that off. I am gonna add a little bit more, because I don't think I'm at a full ounce. Just a little bit more, just on top. Tiny bit more. I'll break that one up. So we got that going. Now we have to open up using our sanitized can opener. Open up our hoppy malt extract here. Are you seriously not going to do it? I have to grab my backups. Always have a backup. I do have a backup. Let's sanitize it first. Let's see if this is any better. So this is nice and liquidy. I'm going to stir in these other hops real quick at, at time of boiling, time I took the heat off. Okay, so I got this thing done. Since, the, since this is sanitized, I'm just going to use this and crack this open. Dude, this is like, ah, uh, it's like, it's like honey. It's like molasses. It's real thick and very, very sticky. All right, let's add this in. See, we got it mostly out. I'm gonna get every little last ounce though. Okay, and if you look at it, it's very thick. It's very thick and full of hops. Okay, so now my Bohemian Czech beer, Czech Pilsner, is nice and thick. I took it off the heat, so it's in there now. Mr. Beer instructions tell me to just add it to the existing uh, four quarts of water I had in there. So it's up to the four quart line right now, which is about, it's about this high. This will add it to about here. And then if you go in the back, it says to add it all the way up to this 8.5 quart line. There you go. So I'm gonna add this into here, this into here. I'm going to stir vigorously and then add some more uh, Market Pantry Target brand water to the whole thing, mix it up. Add the yeast, let it go, and see you in two weeks. Okay, so I have my beer. I work inside the fermenter, Mr. Beer Fermenter. I'm stirring it vigorously. I need to add the yeast, and I want to find out roughly what temperature it is. So I got my wife's digital thermometer. Let's see if it's easy to find out what it's, what it's reading. It's coming in around 85, that's a little hot. I believe we want to do it around 70 to 75, so I'm gonna let this cool off for a little bit, try it again in a few minutes.
So right now it's at 79 degrees. I still need to go down another few degrees, but we're almost there. Okay, it's time to go pitch my yeast. Right now it's running about 78 degrees. I think that's good enough. Uh, this generic Mr. Beer yeast should do the trick. Let's add it in here, cap it up, and see you in a couple weeks. Not gonna stir. And that's it. Time to go find a cool, damp place, cool, dark place.